In this series, we are going to be starting from absolutely nothing and trying to acquire all the riches that Los Santos has to offer. Welcome to Broke to Ballin'. Hello everyone, welcome back to the best but most inconsistent series in GTA Online. Usually in this series, we scour the wonderful world that Rockstar has created for us for some great money making methods to generate some cash flow for our boy here. But today, I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different. Yes, my plan for today is to use the new taxi business, if you can even call it that, to see if it is well and truly one of the worst money making... Ma uh, one of the worst money making methods in GTA Online. I've been back for five minutes and already I've forgotten how to speak. It's a good start. If you've been out of the loop, the most recent update introduced a new business into GTA Online. Again, I don't know if you can really call it a business since it's not very similar to any of the others in the game, but technically, I guess you can consider it one. And that is the Downtown Cab Co. Well, we all know this little place for servicing us and many other citizens around Los Santos with quick and easy deliveries to other places in the city and out of the city as well. But one thing they're not very good at is efficiency. And as the best driver in all the lands, I'm going to make their business the most profitable and powerful one in all the lands. Even though it is a taxi company and Uber is running rampant, so I don't know how much longer they'll be in business. But with Lankman down here, I'm sure it will uh, go well. Maybe. So with this business, again, I really don't know if I should be calling it a business, but what you have to do is walk up to the front door here and uh, start driving. That's it. You don't need to get a taxi license. You don't need to do any training. They just let any old random person to walk in here and start delivering their customers to their desired location. They should be in for a scare because what I'm about to deliver is less, you know, good service and more terrifying experiences. But hey, maybe that's what they're paying for. All right. So before we get into things, there are two ways you can kind of work with this business. You can either just go up to the front door like I did and get a taxi, or you can buy a taxi yourself for 650k or about 400k with a trade price and then do it. Now, I'm going to start off using this taxi because it's the easiest way to do it, but I'm definitely going to be buying my own taxi because I'm stupid and like to waste money. I also think you might be able to get upgrades on it, which will make this stuff a bit faster, but I'm not exactly sure. But before we leave, there's one more thing I want to do. Actually, it's not letting me get out of the car. Um, let me, okay, I need to quit first. I, I didn't want to get in the car yet. That wasn't my plan. What I wanted to do before I started is, you know, being a taxi driver, you're a hero to the citizens, a true man or woman or anything else of I'm trying to think of right words to describe what I'm trying to get across. Basically, you want to make your customer feel comfortable. You want them to have an enjoyable experience and you want them to feel safe, appreciated and loved. So what better way of showing them that they're loved by driving them in this. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, time to pick up our first customer. I'm sure he's going to be very, very excited in the sexual manner when he sees what I'm wearing, which is what I hope to convey to all my customers, that I am there and ready for them whenever they need. This has turned very weird very quickly. Now, I think the way this business works is you will get bonuses. As you can see down there, we have a fare and a tip. I believe the tip will go up every time you complete a successful delivery in a row. So if I complete two, it will go up. If I complete three, it will go up. And then when I stop, it will reset. And I believe the maximum tip you can get per ride is close to $2,000, which is pretty garbage. And then the fare, I believe, just goes up depending on the distance or something. I'm not exactly sure. But as you can see from the numbers down in the bottom right of the screen, that's not a lot of money. Like, if I have to give credit to Rockstar for one thing, this is probably close to the most realistic business in terms of the money you get. I think $119 for going this far, even in LA, is a bit ridiculous. But, you know, it's it's much better than some of the other businesses where you get just a stupid amount of money for things that seem quite insignificant. But yeah, there we go. Um, she's just walking across the road with no fear for her life at all. I respect you, woman. And they don't close the door. Great. I love when people are respectful of my boundaries. My boundaries being the interior of my car. Does that make sense? I'm not really sure. Now, the thing is, I was going to spend today's video buying an auto shop, doing some auto shop contracts, upgrading my cars to max because you can do it with that. But I thought, you know what? If I was going to do an episode about cars already, why don't I pick the better business? Why don't I pick the superior way to earn cash in GTA Online? Being a taxi driver. Everyone knows it's an extremely lucrative, lucrative business. Yep, that's the right word. That's why everyone who's rich and famous uh, drives taxis and not all the people who just need to get by. Ow, I I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe I'm not cut out for this job. All the windows are already cracked. That's... 
quite concerning. Now, honestly, while I'm kind of poking fun at the business and everything because it's not great, I'm actually a little bit disappointed in Rockstar. I feel like a taxi company could have actually been a quite a cool business to actually do properly and have like an actual admin headquarters type thing and be in charge of it while also doing driving. They kind of just made it boring, which I don't know. On one hand, it's kind of nice having just a casual little job like this, more of a role play type thing. But on the other side, you could have had a taxi company that did like, I don't know, like drug trafficking in the back and had been a front for a a shady ass business. I don't know. It could have been something really cool, but they just went the, the lazy route and told you you can drive for a uh, bare minimal money. And as, as you can see, the tip has gone up a little bit. It was about 1,000 for the first one and now 1,260. The only annoying thing about the tip, which I know does make sense because it's a tip, is that the money goes down seemingly for no reason. Like it seems like it goes down every few seconds just because you're slow, uh, which is strange because in some situations, it's literally impossible to get there fast enough for you not to lose any sort of tip. So these people are just insane. Look, I just went down by $48 or $38, whatever my math tells me is correct. And I haven't done anything wrong. Like I may be breaking various road rules at all times, but do they really care? They're from LA, like, wh Ow, brother, watch where you're going. It doesn't help that Rockstar program drivers to hit you and just drive in front of you for no reason. Um, like that. Where was he, where you, were you even turning then, bro? Where were you even turning? Like, yeah, it's not looking good for Lankman Dan's career as a taxi driver. What are, what are you doing to me? I'm just getting hit by random people at this point. I'm trying, I'm one of you. I'm a working civilian. I'm a blue collar worker. I'm just trying to make a living guys. Come on. No need to be so harsh. Like it's, there's a reason why I stay inside all day and never get on in cars because it's just, it ain't worth it. People are so rude and useless. I ain't saying I'm better than you. I'm just saying I'm the same. So I refuse to contribute to that part of society. Now look at the tip. It's down below a thousand. How sad is that? I am honestly on the verge of crying. Yeah, no, not thank you. If I hit him, do I lose? Like he paid me a bad tip. I should, it's in my legal right to kill them afterwards, right? Very cool. And just so you know, if you work retail or like at a coffee store or something and someone doesn't give you a good tip, and by the way, I mean Americans, no one else in the world does tipping culture because we actually pay our workers. But in America, if they don't give you a good tip, I'm pretty sure it's in your legal right to kill them. So have fun with that. Now we're on to our fourth pickup. I don't know where, 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 were you just out in that little house there above the water? What are you doing here? Some people, it's strange. The deliveries are getting, I keep saying deliveries. What should I be saying? The, is delivery the right word for a human? Or does it make it sound like I'm human? trafficking people. I don't know. But the delivery seemed to be getting further and further away, which I'm not really that happy about. The first one was like a kilometer. Now they're getting up to three kilometers. Could you like not please especially when you're taking me out to like sandy shores i'd really rather not be up with the rednecks. They're not my kind of people. Now let's see if a shortcut would make sense in this situation. Probably would if I didn't hit a tree and destroy my entire car. Somehow I still have a higher tip than the last guy, even after doing all this. Um, I don't think this lady's mentally well. Considering the location she went as well, I'm gonna stick by that theory. Where are you going? If you wanted to go down there, I could have dropped you off down there. Why would you ask me to come here and then just suddenly walk the other way? I guess the one positive about this is that they are very quick deliveries. I've only been doing this for about seven minutes so far. Oh my God, I, the speech therapy could not come soon enough. I'm already on my fifth person and it's only been about seven or eight minutes. So they're pretty fast. It's just unfortunate the money isn't a little bit better because if it was, this could actually be decently viable if you didn't want to do anything super intense or didn't have much money to start off with, but I guess we'll see. Maybe Rockstar will update it after people complaining. Unlikely because it's Rockstar and uh, and the deliveries are just getting longer. Okay, what what's going on here exactly? Oh, I also completely just didn't even clock that the snow's gone. Obviously, the last time I made a video was back when the snow was still in GTA, and it is so refreshing to not be slip sliding around like a goddamn idiot all the time. I imagine doing this business in the snow would be equivalent to standing in the pits of hell, getting ass whooped by every imaginable thing. Yeah, that makes sense. And my bonnet's gone. Great. The cab is looking in tip top shape. Do I have to pay for the damages? I really hope not, because this is a lot of damages. Where are you? Oh, he's going up there. Could the GPS like do a little bit better, please, and not mislead me like all the women in my life? Wait, what? Well, we're getting there eventually. It's not the most pristine delivery I've ever done in my life, but uh, I, I've just ran over someone. You get in my way, you know what's coming your way. Hey, shut up, Dan. Here we go, up to the juice stand. Where are you gonna walk? Where are you gonna walk, huh? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Why are you walking back that way? I drove you up here. Don't disrespect my driving. Oh, I got an award. Yay, taxi driver. I don't know if that got me any money, but uh, I got an award. But now I have to drive all the way back down. I don't know who's finding these people, but I'm going to find them and do something to them. So for those of you who have been keeping up on the law of Lankerman Dan, you would know that the past six weeks I have been away at my parents' place for the holiday period, and I only just got back, uh, at least for me, three days ago. In those three days, I have been building IKEA furniture. For a lot of that time, the amount of cuts and injuries I have over my hands is kind of concerning. I think I've developed a skill of clumsiness, which I didn't have before, but I guess I've leveled up somehow. And I've also been sitting at my desk with a bunch of new things, such as a microphone on because I wanted to be fancy. Another monitor because I wanted to be fancy and some other stuff that you'll see eventually. But it's been it's been a it's been a rough few days. I didn't sleep before the flight because it was at 6 a.m. and then I didn't sleep the next night again because I was building IKEA furniture. Don't question why I do these things. I don't know either, but it's basically just meant that this video has taken a little bit longer than I would have hoped. So apologies for the wait. It's probably been about nine, maybe even 10 days now by the time you're watching this. Um, I'm not dead, as you can tell now by watching the video. Well, I might be dead. Who knows? I might have died in the period that this video has been uploaded. Let's hope not though. Let's hope I haven't jinxed that somehow. But yeah, I am back now. Hopefully we'll be good uploading more videos, getting back into streaming. 2023, I want to be a good year, but who knows? I've been wanting a good year since 2020. And God knows that hasn't happened. But if you haven't, make sure to hit that subscribe button because if you don't, I will find you. I will find you. I have people at my disposal that can find you. Specifically you. You're you, the one drinking a glass of orange juice right now. I'm sure there's at least one of you out there. But yeah, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Another person. But once again, another long delivery. Can we just please get a short one? I, I'm, I'm begging, dude. You know, funny story. The first time I ever went to Europe, I went to Germany to check out a school because I was moving there. Long story. And uh, the first ever taxi ride I got in Europe, we were in a car crash. So... I don't know what that should say about my affinity towards the, the taxi committee and businesses, but it's not good. I may want some revenge. There might be some spite there. So maybe that explains um, this. So after seven deliveries, we have $8,700. Uh, it's not looking good, boys. It ain't looking good. And we're back into the mountains. I hate this shit. I guess if there's one thing you can say about me, it's that I'm unorthodox. No other taxi driver you'll see doing this type of stuff. And if you do, please let me know. I will end their life because this is my copyrighted taxi service. I actually have it patented under the state of Nevada, which we're not in at the moment, which may make it an issue. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. But, uh, just go with it. You know what? I'm surprised. Four kilometers, man. Come on, dude. Just give me like a, a 0.5k drive or something. Like, I don't know what I was saying. I got too annoyed at the distance. You know what? I'm, I'm angry, so I'm going to make this drive hell for this woman. Oh yeah, I was going to say I'm surprised that I haven't lost a door yet. Clearly, that's not the case anymore. Yeah, this isn't going very well. I think she's enjoying it. The screams mean she's having fun. I wonder if I'm going to get a five-star review. How you doing back there? Having a good time? She doesn't look very happy. I wonder why. Oh, that might be why. Now, the goal is to see if we can get a $0 tip because we're pretty close so far. Uh, now we have no doors, no bonnets, no boots. Honestly, we barely have a car anymore, but we're still going strong. The taxi business never gives up. No matter what we go through, no matter what pain, what turmoil, we will always get you to your destination because that is the taxi's driver's motto. Yeah? Sure, why not? I'm gonna imagine this is her house. Well, let's go on a little drive for a little bit longer. We wanna make a bit of extra money. And by that, I mean, we're definitely losing money because like, look at us. Do you wanna go to prison, lady? I wanna go to prison. Oh, I thought we were gonna make it, honestly. Well, we're down to $53 for the tip. Honestly, I don't think I deserve that much. So let's just make it a little bit lower. There we go. A $0 tip for this, <laughs> this wonderful journey. <laughs> Oh, uh, who wouldn't hire me, right? Like, hey, if you want to get there fast and easy, maybe go for someone else. But if you want a great time, some great fond memories, something that you can tell your kids about the day when you nearly died, you want to hire your boy, Dan. Honestly, I'm surprised she's not more broken. I'm impressed she can walk. Another delivery I hear. Hmm, my next victim, some would say. Hello, good sir. You ready to go? Did you just drop your coffee? My guy, I'm sure that was a perfectly good drink. I know it would probably spill everywhere in my car. 4.7! You know what, nah, this guy's... I'm crashing as much as possible. Gen I think genuinely every single ride has gotten longer. Oh, boy. This makes me... 
Mm. I don't know what emotion that conveys, but it's something on the scale from disgust to horny. And I'm not sure which side it's closer to. Here's a jump. I'm not going to control the car. I'm just going to leave it in God's hands. Here we go. Well, we're alive. That's something. Never mess with a taxi driver again. You scum. I'm really getting into the roleplay here. It's really nice. Maybe you should try being a taxi driver in real life. We actually have a bit of a tip this time, which is better than the zero dollars. Oh, uh, they really just like making me drive to the most irritating places, don't they? They take me around the river or lake, I should say, and then make me take the, the uh, uh, and finally we are at our next pickup. I think, I believe this is my 10th customer. And if this is my 10th customer, I might make this a last ride for now. I think the world has experienced enough pain that's a really good start at least for the final drive it's not as far as before under two kilometers i'm very very pleased with that the tip is now at one thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars which is the highest tip you can get for doing a taxi ride after doing 10 deliveries or more now that's not that much money and i guess depending on how fast efficient you are with doing this you can make some amount of money if you just want to kind of laze back and drive around a bit but compared to any other business or heist or mission in the game it doesn't really seem worth it but we're not done with the experimentation yet so stick around because there's another few things i want to try out and here we go the final delivery there you go 1942 not too bad a five star ride award, 10 fares completed, and 1,001, sorry, $11,746 earned. Uh, for about 25 minutes work, that's not great. And no, I know, I know I didn't drive very well, but come on, what can you expect from a guy in this outfit? Like, look at me. Look at me. No, seriously, do I get turned on. So there is one main other thing I really wanted to try with this taxi business. And of course, that is buying my own taxi for a stupid amount of money. Now, if you go over to Warstock Cash and Carry, you can find a taxi here for $487,000. So it actually originally is 650 k But I guess after doing those 10 delivery missions, the first 10 missions that did for the downtown Cabco, I got the reduced trade price, which is very nice. Obviously, this is still a stupid amount of money for a dumb vehicle that no one will ever use. But yeah, let's buy it. So so the main reason I wanted to buy this is to see if you can upgrade. Yes, I know I could have Google searched this and saved myself money, but um, I'm stupid. So let's go ahead and see if you can upgrade this. If you can't, I have just wasted a bunch of money and then you can all laugh at me in the comments. Oh, the only thing we can do is add explosives. God damn it. So due to my massive disappointment, I did a little bit of research and found out the only way to get a taxi that you can upgrade is by getting to level 25 in the arena war. Why? What What in the world does a taxi have to do with giant cars fighting against each other? I'm very lost, Rockstar. You need to make some different decisions. And now that we've got ourselves stuck with this absolutely useless vehicle, we might as well put it to use. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a job. Yeah, I just started spamming random buttons and it finally gave me work. I think it was the right thumbstick. I just started spamming stuff because it wasn't working. So, we're gonna go with it. But yeah, now that we have this, let's not waste the opportunity. Let's try and actually make some money this time let's try and be a good taxi driver a little amount of crashing high amount of speed and dexterity and other things that are important to being a taxi driver let's just actually see if i can do this well last time i made eleven thousand dollars after 10 trips my goal is to make at least fifteen thousand. if i fail i will cry All right, final person. Come on. And there we go. 10 deliveries, $14,779. After all that, we didn't even get my goal of 15,000. It's a nice place to end it, I won't lie. We've had a fun day today. Did some taxi work and did some more taxi work. But in the end, this is the worst business in the game. Goodbye. I can't lie, the no game sound made that explosion way less dramatic than I would have hoped. Oh well, see you next time.